Well, we always like to make it clear that we didn't expect anybody to become the winemaker. We never expected this to go on and evolve into second generation at all. That was it's a huge thing to take on, the winemaking. It's her responsibility to make really great wine that will sustain not only the family, but the land, the workers, everything. Uh, it's, it's really big, and she has taken that on. Well, with Louisa being the first, second generation um, winemaker in Oregon, uh, I think all of us in the uh, second generation really look to her for inspiration and, uh, and knowledge about the transition and what it's like uh, to join a family business, to really carry that spirit forward. And Louisa's always loved this embracing of, of all the natural things in life. And she loves the vineyard and she loves to see things grow and to th see things um, you know, prosper and, and become beautiful things. Um, she is a natural mother and I think that that is part of why she's so successful at, um, at her winemaking. Louisa was uh, finishing up her school and she decided to go to Burgundy after she graduated. This wasn't anything American women did. So I was amazed at, uh, that she really took that on, the, uh, the course in France that she took, which is extremely difficult. Her experience in tasting wines all over Burgundy, I think, really brought a real important component back to the winery. It's been fun watching her wines evolve over the years. As the vineyards get older, her wines and some of the other wines from Oregon are just so much more consistent. She and Eric are the reason I met David Adelsheim in 2001. So whether she likes it or not, she's responsible for me coming here. She's an innovator and, uh, uh, you know, she not only takes um, 20 years of winemaking experience, and with that knowledge, really pushes the envelope on quality. Um, finding new ways, uh, both viticulturally and in the winery, to take winemaking to a whole new level. Well, Chardonnay is probably a good example because what she found when she came back was that our Chardonnays weren't quite of a style that, that she remembered from Burgundy. She was able to have that vision and with the new clones that were coming in, could do the blending work with those new clones to, to develop that memory that she had for white burgundy. I think her palate is fantastic, I think her memory is good, and her blending, I mean, her blending skills are just fantastic. She probably has several hundred different lots to deal with. My relationship with her as winemakers is, I keep telling her about techniques that I'm thinking about using on our wines here at Adelsheim, and she keeps telling me to leave them alone, they're fine the way they are. And I think that completely sums up her approach and the lessons that she's had to offer in the Willamette Valley. The way that Luisa is so hands-on with every fermenter, and I mean, there are hundreds of barrels that she's working with every vintage. Uh, the way that she can just confidently go through and create blends, to me, that is someone who is a master of their trade. That's why her wines, every single vintage, are so beautiful. She has to figure out, make real decisions that really make a difference. And of course that's difficult to do, but on the other hand, she also has to make sure that everyone around her has confidence in those decisions. She's the one who says, well, there's a lot of things. We could talk about it, but we aren't going to talk about it. We're just going to do this and it'll be great.